Welcome back to another exciting episode of AI Historic Expeditions. Today we'll be diving deep into the world of European kingdoms during the 16th century. We'll recreate the images of their rulers and their impact on history. Get ready for a time travel to the Kingdom of England, the Kingdom of Scotland, the Kingdom of France, the Kingdom of Spain, the Holy Roman Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, the Kingdom of Sweden, the Kingdom of Denmark-Norway, the Kingdom of Poland-Lithuania, and the Kingdom of Hungary. Our first destination is the Kingdom of England, where we encounter a series of influential monarchs. We begin with Henry VII, who reigned from 1485 to 1509. He laid the foundation for the Tudor dynasty and initiated significant administrative reforms. Henry VII's son, Henry VIII, ascended to the throne in 1509, and his reign is known for its monumental impact on England's history. From his six marriages to the establishment of the Church of England, Henry VIII was undoubtedly a figure of great importance. Following Henry VIII's era, we have Edward VI, who ruled from 1547 to 1553. Despite his short reign, he left a lasting impact on religious reforms, primarily through the advancement of Protestantism. Mary I, the daughter of Henry VIII, was also known as Bloody Mary. She took the throne in 1553. Her reign was marked by her fervent attempts to restore Catholicism in England, leading to the persecution of Protestants. Now we come across one of the most iconic English monarchs of all time, Elizabeth I. Her reign, spanning from 1558 to 1603, is often referred to as the Elizabethan era. Under her rule, England experienced a golden age of cultural and artistic flourishing. Our next stop takes us to the Kingdom of Scotland, where we witness a dynamic lineage of rulers. Starting with James IV, who was the King of Scotland from 1488 to 1513. He was the eldest son of King James III and Margaret of Denmark. He became king after his father was killed in a battle against rebels. He was an energetic and popular ruler who unified Scotland, strengthened royal finances, and improved Scotland's position in Europe. He wore an iron belt as a penance for his father's death. James V followed in his father's footsteps, ruling from 1513 to 1542. He faced numerous challenges during his reign, including conflicts with England and the Protestant Reformation's growing influence. Mary I, often referred to as Mary, Queen of Scots, assumed the throne in 1542. Mary was six days old when her father died, and she inherited the throne. Plagued by political intrigue and religious conflicts, she was ultimately forced to abdicate. Her claim to the English throne and involvement in a plot against Queen Elizabeth I led to her 19-year imprisonment by her cousin. Mary met her end through execution by beheading. James VI, son of Mary I, ascended to the Scottish throne in 1567. His reign is particularly significant as it marks the union of the crowns of Scotland and England, paving the way for the future kingdom of Great Britain. He became the King of England and Ireland as James I from the union of the Scottish and English crowns on the 24th of March 1603 until his death in 1625. This marked the end of the Tudor dynasty, replaced by the Stuarts. As we venture into the Kingdom of France, we encounter a series of rulers during the 16th century. Let's begin with Louis XII, who reigned from 1498 to 1515. Under his reign, the province of Brittany finally became a de facto permanent province of France. Known as the father of the people, Louis XII played a pivotal role in the French Renaissance. Francis I succeeded Louis XII in 1515. His ambitions for territorial expansion resulted in ongoing clashes with the Habsburg dynasty particularly Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor. Francis I established the Fontainebleau School, which became a renowned center for artistic innovation, attracting prominent artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Benvenuto Cellini, and Rosso Fiorentino. Henry II, who ruled from 1547 to 1559, continued his predecessor's efforts to strengthen France's influence. 
he introduced the concept of publishing the description of an invention in the form of a patent. Henry II was an avid hunter and a participant in jousting tournaments. During a jousting match, he was wounded in the eye, which led to brain damage and eventually his death by sepsis. Francis II, Henry II's son, ascended to the throne in 1559, but sadly reigned for only a year. Despite his short tenure, Francis II's reign was marked by religious tensions and the rise of Protestantism. Charles IX succeeded his brother Francis II and ruled from 1560 to 1574. His reign was marked by political instability and the infamous St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre, which occurred during the French Wars of Religion. Last for this episode, we have Henry III, the fourth son of King Henry II. He was the King of Poland and Grand Duke of Lithuania from 1573 to 1575. His reign as King of France lasted from 1574 to 1589. There were reports that Henry engaged in same-sex relations with his court favorites, known as the Mignons. In 1570, discussions commenced arranging for Henry to court Queen Elizabeth I of England. However, nothing came of these discussions. Although he was expected to produce an heir after he married the 21-year-old Louise of Lorraine, no issue resulted from their union. Henry III was assassinated by a young fanatical Dominican friar, Jacques Clément, in 1589.